What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys another Sandstorm team. We got ourselves a Sword Sands Extral team for Ranked Regulation H. Now, when it comes to Extral and Titar, I should say, this is one of my favorite combos of all time. I absolutely love both these Pokemon, and I think they're very strong on the competitive scene. Now, this extra right here has Sand Rush to double speed in the Sandstorm, and obviously Titar has Sand Stream as his ability to set the Sandstorm. Extra has got the Focus Ash, rocking the Ground Terror type to boost its ground damage, and then it's got Iron Head, EQ, Sword Stance, and Protect. I really do like its moveset. You got two stat moves, you got a way of boosting attack stat, and pretty much from there, you can just dominate the match. I mean, Titar's on today's team, solid Pokemon all around. Everybody knows Titar is him. Titar's got Rock Slide, Knock Off, Terror Blast, and Low Kick, with that Assault Vest and a Flying Terror type, so it won't get hit by Extra's Earthquakes. Now, other four Pokemon on today's team feature Sneasler, Magmar, Indeedee, and Corviknight. Corviknight and Indeedee are going to pair up well because Corviknight has the Psychic Seeds. Corviknight also has Mirror Armor with the Water Terror type, Brave Bird, Power Trip, Bulk Up, and Roost. And Indeedee, on the other hand, is a solid special attacker with the Choice Scarf as item, Psychic Surge as its ability, Expanded Force, Terror Blast, Trick, and Protect. So, I really do like this Indeedee. I think it's going to throw off a few opponents, and we can really rock out with that. Sneasel, on the other hand, great physical attacker with the White Herb Unburden. It's got coaching for our physical attackers, and then it's got close combat, Dire Claw, and Fake Out. And then Magmar is going to be our final Pokemon. Great support Pokemon all across the board with Follow Me and Helping Hand. Guys, want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right-hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing this extra and Titar Sandstorm team. Hopping into our first match, and we're going up against such a dope team. They got Charizard, they got Venusaur alongside with Ninetales to set the sun. On top of that, they got Garchomp, Mimikyu, and Whimsicott. A lot of dope Pokemon on this squad. We definitely got to bring in Titar because we have to win the Weather War. How should we lead this one? Who should we honestly go into? I could go into this Choice Scarf and DD with the Corviknight. Could be honestly a solid lead, and I am going to end up doing that. Corviknight and DD for the lead, and then just Titar extra just seems like a simple play for us. That is something I really like. I think this one is going to be a simple call for us. I really do like this Indeedee Corviknight to get things started and then having the weather Pokemon in the back end could work really well. If they end up leading Ninetales, we might just have to hard swap like Corviknight or even Indeedee turn one. Really depends on the situation. But I do like the Pokemon that we have. Corviknight with those Psychic Seeds really get that nice little special defense boost, especially up against a few special attackers like Charizard, like Venusaur. Could be nice. Definitely could be nice. And we got the Water Tower with Corviknight. I think we should be fine here. Looking to get this video started off 1-0. Would love for this to happen, but let's see who they go into. Is it going to be the Sun Squad? Is it going to be the Sun Squad? It is Whimsicott alongside with Garchomp. Now, Garchomp, or not Garchomp, Whimsicott on its own could set up Sunny Day. That could be a little scary. They don't know that I'm Choice Scarf, though. That is something they don't know. Um, I got Psychic Seeds boosting our special defense, which is great. Garchomp could send EQs, could go for Dragon Claw. Um... I could honestly just bulk up here if I want to. And I think bulk up is going to be our play. So I'm going to go for a bulk up here. And on top of that, I think I'm just going to rip an Expanded Force. You give me no reason not to not to rip an Expanded Force. Especially with my Choice Scarf. So he's going to Helping Hand turn one. He's probably going to look to go after Indeedee. But what he does know is Indeedee's choice. So he's at least going to get off a shot, which is beautiful. Expanded Force does great damage. Getting crit onto the Wimscott, bringing it down to Focus Ash. And Garchomp, what you got cooking here? You're going to go for a crunch. So you can take out my Ndidi all day. That's no big deal. I get off a free bulk up. I get off some nice damage. I actually really do like that. That is something I do like. Now, honestly, I'm thinking of just wasting a turn out here. I could go into extra and just protect, which might be my call, and go for another bulk up. I mean, bulk up, most likely going to be your call. I don't want to thrash like just yet. I still have focus ash, which is really good. But yeah, I'm thinking of just going into extra drill here. I don't want to just give up the weather right away. That could do me dirty. So I'm plus one on special defense, plus one on defense, plus one on attack, which is really good. Um, I got Roost for HP recovery. I think now is a great turn for, honestly, us to just bulk up again. So I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to protect. So give me no reason not to. You give me no reason not to. Especially with the Pokemon on the field, we're just like looking at them like, all right, pretty good here. We're pretty good here. So let's see what they want to do. I think that there is a chance that they go after Corviknight, but I think that they want to go, would want to go after this extra drill more so than anything. Let's see what they do. 
I'm just gonna protect this Hextro, put up a nice little shield. And he's gonna rip a Tailwind, so he's gonna get a little bit of speed going here. Alright, no big deal. Speed gets cooking here, EQ is gonna fly. That's fine, you're just gonna KO your own Wimscott. My Corviknight's gonna dodge, and I get off a free bulk up again. So yeah, bulk up, looking pretty nice. So I'm also curious to see who they end up going into, because if they go into Ninetales, we'll just swap the, uh... We'll just swap the, what's it called? The extra and the t tart get that weather control. But if they go into, like, Charizard, because that's the, that's the two Pokemon I think they have, would be Charizard and Ninetales. But if they go into Charizard, I might just Terrastalize for overnight. Ninetales is going to come out here. Ninetales out and about, um... Honestly, just going into a Water Terror is our best bet right now. And that's what I'm gonna do, gonna do. I'm gonna go into Water Terror. I'm gonna go into a Brave Bird into this slot, and I'm just gonna hard swap straight into Titar here. They could make a read and hard swap into Charizard here to get Weather again, but I just think this is an easy call for me. So I go Titar. I am gonna end up using my Water Terror here, playing it safe, playing it smart, and we get the Sandstorm kicking up. So no, they're not swapping. That's big time because if I take out Garchomp, we get Weather Control for the rest of the match. Beautiful, especially with this Water Terror. Oh yeah, Corvo. Corvo's plus two on defense, plus two on attack. Psychic Seeds makes it plus one on special defense. Its stats are going really well right now for us. There's that Rock Slide going to attack us. Corvo Knight's going to end up do dodging that, and t -Tar's going to soak that no problem. Heat Wave's going to launch. Good Terra on my end. Corvo Knight soaks no problem. No burns? No burns. Awesome. Exactly what we wanted. Brave Bird flies. Bye-bye, Garchomp. See you later. Rough Skin going to chip up a little bit of damage. We do have Roost if we want HP recovery. But I think right now, just attacking is probably our best call. Again, I do believe that they have Charizard. Venusaur would be a slight issue. But right now, they still have Tailwind up, so they are going to outspeed us. I could Roost this turn. Let's see what they go into. I might Roost. I might just Roost and Rock Slide. This got to be Charizard, right? Mimikyu. I actually kind of like that. So Mimikyu is going to come out here. Um... I could Roost. I still have Focus Sash, which is good. I could Roost. I think I'm just going to Brave Bird, because I think Mimikyu's going to attack Titar. I really do. But I'm still just going to go Brave Bird, and honestly, I just think Brave Bird Rock Slide's going to be play. If you go for... You end up just going for uh, Play Rough, taking out my Titar, so be it. That's fine. As long as I can, hopefully, this Brave Bird can just KO this Ninetales, and I can turn this into a 2v1 situation. That would be my best bet. That would be my best bet, because I think they only have one turn left in Tailwind, and they're going to end up Will-O-Wisping me. Okay, so will o -Wisp flies. I don't think Mimikyu can KO my Corvo Knight. Unless you have Wood Hammer. Do you have Wood Hammer? You do have Wood Hammer, but it doesn't KO. My dog, Corvo Knight's so bulky. I was like, no way you got Wood Hammer. Brave Bird launches. It's going to end up KOing. Recoil and Sandstorm, I think, are going to KO us, but I get rid of the skies here. I can get rid of the skies here. That's huge. That's all I, that's all I need. It. That's all I need to get rid of the skies. So the skies is gone. I have Focus Ash. Sandstorm's here. I think Tailwind ends. And Corviknight's going to die out. All good. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Corviknight got a ton of work done. A ton of work done. But I was sitting there. I was just like, once I seen Willow, I was just like, I don't think they're going to double down. I think they're trying just to burn the T-Tar here. And I was like, wait a minute. Mimikyu learns Woodhammer. So maybe Q, I was like, please don't have Wood Hammer. Launch it, but luckily Corviknight absolutely bulked that. No problem. No problem. So out comes my Excadrill. Ready to thrive out here. They still have Terra type. Which honestly I do not like. I do not like. And Tailwind, is Tailwind done? No, they got one turn. I think I'm just going to protect and kind of read out what they want to do. So I'm going to protect. I'm just going to go for a knockoff here rather than a rock slide. Take off item, all that good stuff. Um, let Buffett chip around a little bit. But I think they're going to pop Terror type here. Which is why I want to protect. Because I still have Focus Ash and I can read out what their Terror type is going to be. So that's great news for us. Plus, we can outspeed next turn. So I'm going to have Terrastalize and it is going to be straight Fairy. And yeah, I could have just Iron Head that slot. But it's all good. It's all good. I think this is a solid turn for us. I think it's fine. I think it's just a safe turn. We know we can afford to protect. We know we have Focus Ash. They don't know we have Focus Ash. And he's going to end up going for a player off. So again, this turn works out fine. Like, it might look bad right now because he just picked up a free KO. But in their eyes, it looks good. In my eyes, it's it's fine. I got that Focus Ash. 
I got that focus dash, and I know I can one tap here, and I know I can outspeed. So yeah, thanks for playing. Thanks for coming along. How many turns are left in Sandstorm? It should be two. Yeah, so I mean, even if they double protect, we still win this game because I have the focus dash. I have the focus dash, so they can waste out Tailwind turns. They can do anything they want. I don't even think they can one tap me, to be honest. Woodhammer, I don't think it will, but there's the Iron Head. Safe play wins this game. We start off 1-0. Hot start for your boy. Match number two on its way, and I feel like I've been seeing a ton of Dancer or Choreo teams in Regulation Age. It's just so strong. They're pairing it up with Full Corona. They also have Screens Grimstrong. They got Blossom, who's a little hula dancer, and then they got Smeargle and Coaster and Flamigo. So, honestly, a pretty strong team that I'm kind of worried about. I mean, Screens can go absolutely crazy, and I don't want to deal with that. But who should I end up leading here, and how should I get after? I could just go straight into Titar Extra. And start attacking that way with like rock slides, uh, EQs if I want to. I think that's a few good options for us. Now, do I? I think I do want to lead it because they don't have any weather control. They're probably just gonna go into Grim Snarl. Let's be honest here, we don't really have any ways of taking out screens unless what we got. A yeah, trick. I mean, I can hand off the choice scarf. I could do that. I could hand off the choice scarf to Grim Snarl if I wanted to. You got Power Trip over here, Corvo. You do got Power Trip. I just think our best chances are these two right here. So I'm going to end up leading both of them. I still like having Corvo in here. And honestly, I might just bring it in with Indeedee here. I think Indeedee's great Pokemon. I really do. Especially with this Choice Scarf. It just works so well. It works really well. Just being able to outspeed, set its own terrain, and then get a damage boost on top of that with its own Psychic moves. It's just a really powerful Pokemon. So that is something I do really like. Let's see who they end up leading here. I think it's going to be Grimstarl, right? It's got to be Grimstarl. It can only be Grim Grimstarl. And yeah, it is Grimstarl. It's it's a pretty simple lead. It's a pretty simple lead. Now, Smeargle has Fake Out. Um, Who do I think they Fake Out, though? Probably Extra Drill, looking at this. And I'm just going to go for a Rock Slide. And just Protect here. I really I, I want to keep my Focus Ash. That's kind of why I want to Protect Extra Drill. So I'm really hoping they go after Extra. I really don't want them just like faking out T-Tar and getting off an easy stream turn without any repercussion. And now they're just going to spore me. Even worse. <laughs> Even worse. Night, night, T-Tar. And now, are you going for Spirit Break here? What, you, what are you cooking here? What are you cooking here? Burning Jealousy. Okay. You got Burning Jealousy on your Grimmsnarl. You're going to get burned, aren't you? I actually can't. I, I'm asleep. All right, so Buffett's popped through. Um, Extra's out speeding. Moody's going to come out here. Special Defense going to raise. Um, I think I'm just going to Thrasilize and just absolutely pop an EQ. No, we're not. We're not. Um, just going to try to wake up here. Rock Slide. Are you choiced? I'm going to go for an Iron Head because I really don't want Grimstone getting off screens. Watch, now it's going to pop screens. Now it's going to pop screens. And honestly, might be able to soak an Iron Head. And there's the screens. So right now, we're just slow playing this one. Extra is going to outspeed the Smeargle, which is good. And yeah, we were going to KO if it didn't set up Reflect. I should have went for Iron Head turn one. But I was guessing they were just like faking out and doing all that stuff. And here comes another Spore. Lovely. Just what I wanted. More Spores. Awesome. Gorgeous. Lovely. Spores. <laughs> we love Spores. <laughs> Oh my lord, you should honestly Sports should only have like max two to three PP Maximum you should not be able to use it like more than ten times in the game. It's just absurd. It honestly is It honestly is but I'm gonna go for another rock slide. I'm gonna stick with the iron head I'm actually gonna iron head to smear slide. Even though I'm not gonna wake up this turn Parting shots gonna come out here. Oh look at you setting up screens and then parting shotting away Real clever. Real simple. Putting me to sleep. Setting up screens. Parting shot. How original. <laughs> How original. So right now I am slumped. Blossom gonna come out here. Shiny Blossom. That looks amazing. I haven't... I don't, this might be my first time seeing a Shiny Blossom. That looks incredible. That looks incredible. And this thing's gonna use Transform? Who do you think you are? What is this? 
Titar's gonna wake up here. Rockside's gonna connect. What is going on here? What transform? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is going on? All right, luckily I can wake up now. <laughs> transform? <laughs> and they, they have an extra drill now. I'm gonna do this and I am also going to go into an EQ. I saw Focus Ash. That's just hilarious. What is going on here? Transform? Who do they think they are? <laughs> what are they doing? It's kind of cool. I kind of want them to win, to be honest with you. But I'm going to Terrasalize my lovely little T-Tar. You're going to Terrasalize. Is that going to be Extra? Extra just gets a Terror type. Going into Dark. Dark Terror type cooking here. I'm going to also Terrasalize into Flying just because I don't want Iron Head doing an absurd amount of damage to me. Or even EQ. So... Little terror type popping for my T Tar. Put the balloons on her head. A little bit of balloons action. And let's see what they got cooking for us. Extra gonna be slumped. Kinda hurts the soul that that happened. They're gonna launch an EQ. That's totally fine. And what's Blossom going for? Nothing. Thank the Lord. I was going to say, does Blossom learn Spore? <laughs> it's going to put me to sleep. <laughs> Later, Blossom. Wow. Whoa. 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 Why is it that bulky? Whoa. Wait a minute. I know Reflex up, but still. That's a bulky Blossom. That's a bulky Blossom. That's a real bulky blossom. I'm gonna try to get rid of it. It's quiver dancing up. We're gonna go for EQ. We're gonna go for uh, another Terra Blast here. Hopefully my extra wins the speed tie again. Be beautiful and we can wake up this time. Hopefully we can wake up this time. Cause I'd love to rip an EQ. Reflex just chilling on the field. They still have Grimstarl. My extra is minus one. I already know that. Smeargle's gonna go for EQ and he's gonna take out my extra. So he ended up in the speed tie there. That's okay. I mean, we outspeed here. Actually, we don't outspeed. You quiver dance boost it, so you're gonna outspeed me now. And what are you going for? Oh no. Strength Zap? <laughs> that move is so broken. Give me a crit. That move is absurdly broken. Full HP? Alright. Alright. I can't even bring you out here. I can't even bring you out here. Oh. Let's swap T-Tar here. What is going on? Strength sap? Really? Might just be bulk up time. It might just be bulk up time. Swapping to you. Bulk up for days. We know the extras moves. It has Swords Dance though. Which is looking a little scary. But I guess I'll just bulk up here. Yo, really? I was sitting there, I was like, alright, we got this thing low HP. We should be fine. I seen, seen Strength Sap. I didn't even want to look at the HP gauge. I just seen it shoot up all the way to the max. Like, are you serious? Oricorio is not going to come out here. And we're going to see 50 Quiver Dances come out here. We're going to see 50 Quiver Dances. It's going to get real ugly real quick. Luckily, they don't have Lay Screen up. Maybe my Indeedy can outspeed with the Choice Scarf. Drop a nice little Expanded Force. That could be nice. That could be beautiful. And watch, we're going to see 50 Quiver Dance pop out here. It's going to get real ugly real fast. I'm going to bulk up. A little bit of bulk up action. Defense, attack boost, which is nice. And here comes 50 Quiver Dances. 50 of them. Honestly, the special defense boost doing me so dirty. Who do I even attack here? The answer or Courier is going to come out here. Raise his little pom-poms. Oh my lord, this game. Somebody punch me in the face right now. Five times. Pin me up against the wall and just beat me up. <laughs> Alright, um, from here, I, I guess expand the force. I could trick. Could hand off the choice scarf, but chances are you're attacking me now. I'll go for expand the force. I got power trip too. Hmm. The more the user stats are boosted, the greater the move power is. Could just go here. 
Actually, I mean, my, 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 my stats aren't boosted that much. I'd rather just go for a Brave Bird in this slot. That's what I'm going to do. Trip a Brave Bird. Expanded Force is going to launch. Give me some crits. Throw me some crits. Not bad damage. We like that damage. Air Slash can come through here. Ouch. Or Corio. Are you Shell Belt? What is this team? What is this team? Shell Bell? Really? What is this? <laughs> The Oricorio is now probably outspeeding my my DD. I would have loved to have Haze here. Haze would have been uh, an awesome little thing. But we're going to pick up our first KO. Finally. Yay. Bye, Blossom. Thanks for playing. You should have died six hours ago. I, however, I do like your shiny. However, I do like your shiny. So, first KO on the board. Oricorio. I would love to just like grab this bird like, by one hand. Just squeeze it. <laughs> Give it a quick gene squeeze. But now, things are about to get real ugly and real annoying real fast. Um, I'm kind of forced to just go for expanded force here. And uh, he's going to put me to sleep. Like, we already know this is happening. Not much I can do here. Revelation Dance. Going to finish off my Indeed Doobly. See you later, Indeed Doobly. See you later. And Night Night Corvo Night, if I had to guess. Watch how original this guy is. So original. Watch this play. So original. <laughs> so original. I would have never guessed you were going to spore there. Not in a million years. Not in a million years. Moody comes out here, and of course he gets this speed boost. Oh my lord. And guys, I know you're not going to believe this. But I, I'm going to put my life savings. I'm going to put my YouTube channel on the line here. That This Smeargle spores my T-Tar. I'll put everything I got on the line for this. Everything I got on the line. That I get spored here. Everything on the line right now. I have to take out Smeargle because if not, I just get spored all day. Told you. What did I say? You guys owe me all my life savings. Times two. And yeah, this match is pretty much over, right? Correct statement? Bye-bye. 4 HP. Lovely. Corviknight with a quick wake-up. He's not going to be able to KO. He's just going to die out the recoil, which kind of sucks. But we do Wait a minute. We do KO. Hold up. So you're saying there's a chance. They got T-Tar... Or they got... Grimstraw left. T-Tar slumped this turn. And we just die out the Revelation Dance, which is the problem. Yeah, thanks for playing, Jeans. There's the soul. Unless this reflect end. Nah, we just we just die out. Reflect does end. Hold up. Wait a minute. We are vested. I'm sure I was low. If I could soak, wake up, and drop a rock side for a KO. Hold up. Give me a chance. Just give me a chance. You set up a reflect. Just give me a chance. I think we die out to this. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. Don't tell me sleep's doing me dirty. I'm going to start a petition, yo. Ban Spore. Ban Spore right now. It's got to go. You shouldn't be able to put me to sleep three times with Smeargle. It just shouldn't be allowed. It just shouldn't be allowed. We had a shot if we woke up there. We didn't wake up. I'm running this game. GG's to our opponent. We're sitting one and one. Final match coming at you guys. And I don't even know what to say about that last match. That was just so annoying, but kind of cool at the same time. They used some cool combos, but Spore really just got out of hand. They're rocking out with Charizard here. Twerkle alongside with Jump Bluff. They also got Ursaluna, Incineroar, and... Porygon 2. Now, their only weather control is going to be Torkoal, which means I definitely want to bring in T-Tar, but who should I end up leading here? I mean, Magmar is not bad. I mean, Heat Wave could do some damage. We gotta watch out for Intimidate on Incineroar, so maybe just leading in DD and Corviknight is probably our lead. I definitely like that. I think we're just going in with the same squad all day today. I think we are. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Same squad all day today. We, we're not using Magmar. We're not using Sneasler. It's totally fine. We're sitting one on one. Hopefully, grabbing ourselves a winning record that last match. Oh my lord. Annoyed me so much. Annoyed me so much. Let's see what they end up leading here. 
At least it's over. <laughs> That's all I can say. At least that last match is over. But GG to our opponent. They end up going into Incineroar, which we're bouncing back to Intimidate with Mirror Armor, which is really good. Um, They can't fake me out. They could pop a Trick Room. I think we should start bulking up. I could end up like tricking this Porygon and just giving it the Choice Scarf. That is an option. And they might just go for a knockoff here. With Incineroar. I definitely want to bulk up. I definitely want to bulk up here. So I'm going to bulk up. Um, I could just protect Ndidi. I had to guess I got to go for a knockoff in that side. I could swap it to Tar. No, you know what? We are just going to... We're just going to protect this turn. Actually... I'm just going to drop an Expanded Force. Let's deal some damage to this P2. P2 is bulky, so it's just like, I kind of want to start chipping it up. If they go for knockoff into DD, so be it. If we die, we die. I mean, I kind of just want to use it for this nice little special defense boost and get a Corbinite kind of on the field. But there is a chance that they hard swap Incineroar and save it for later, because they probably know we have T-Tar Extral, and that Intimidate is so valuable. But no, they're just going to stay on the field. They stay on the field, we end up dropping this Expanded Force, chipping up some decent damage on the P2. That's respectable. And bulk up flies through for my Corbinite. Cool, dope, lovely. There's that knockoff flying from Incineroar. No flare blitz into this slot, which we soak. We soak just fine. And he's gonna pop a trick room. The trick room comes out here. Um, I definitely want to roost here. I definitely want to roost. And then just rip another expanded force. Get back some HP. They might not go for another flare blitz here. They're, actually, they, it looks like they're going to double down here, which could be rough. Just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. I was dead anyway. It, it didn't matter. It didn't matter, but 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 just the cherry on top. Just to freeze my core, right? Look at it. It's just wings are in the air, frozen solid. Wings are just floating. All right. Expanded Force launches, we chip up some more damage on the P2. Another Expanded Force will end up KOing. Um, they got Trick Room. I mean, we have to go into Extra here. I could protect and just pop an EQ, which might just be my play. Actually, we're just going to protect you. And we're just going to Expanded Force, because this might just be like an Ice Beam play. This might be an ice beam in the floor once again. So we're just gonna chuck up some more damage. Um, we're gonna get rid of this P2. Hopefully he doesn't use recover. But we'll race out trick turns pretty well here. Not too shabby. And he ends up going for recover. It really hurts his soul. So recover gonna fly here. Can you show me you're at least going for fire blitz here? No, you end up going for knockoff at the perfect time. At the perfect time. The most perfect time. Oh, man. We're just getting torn apart here, match number three. Not looking good for us, guys. Not looking good. Cheetar comes out here. Sandstorm on the field. Um, Wouldn't be surprised to see them swap into, like, Torkoal here. I am going to rip an EQ. However, I am also going to Terrasalize and drop a Rock Slide to follow through. They could easily, they could 100% swap into Torkoal here with Incineroar. But honestly, I think they just doubled down extra like they did to my Corbinite Ace Beam Flare Blitz. I don't have Protect anymore, so that might be their call. Trick Room's close to ending. So if I can survive this turn, maybe just Protect out a turn. That could be really good for us. That's why I wouldn't be surprised to see them swap out Incineroar and swap it back in later. Because the Intimidate's just so valuable up against these two. He ends up withdrawing P2 here. So P2 with the withdrawal. Is this going to be Torkoal? It's going to be Ursaluna Bear. So the bear coming out here is going to take an EQ and a rock slide. So we can chuck up some nice damage here. And we'll end up clicking this nice lovely Terra button. So the bear coming out here to soak up some shots. Nice little Terra type on RN. Flare Blitz going to launch. We're able to soak with Focus Hash, which is great. You're going to take some mean recoil. I'm going to say bye, bye to Incineroar here. So Incineroar's going to die. No problem here with this EQ. Even with the Sitch Berry. Actually, it might survive the EQ now, but I mean, Rock Slide should be able to finish it off. 
Rock Slide's gonna connect. Beautiful. Rock Slide almost finishes it off. Does minimal damage to this bear. And EQ is going to launch. Alright, how much damage are we doing here? To Ursula. Respectable. Alright. Now the problem here with Ursula Luna, or I should say Titar, is I don't have protect on Titar. It's just gonna facade me. Something I don't like. We know facades flying out here. We know facades flying out here into the T-Tar slot. If I can soak it, that'd be great, but I don't think we can. Now, who do you go into? Now comes the Torkoal. The Torkoal can erupt for free. This is where I really wish we had double protect. One one turn left in Jerk, and we have to protect Extra And I mean, if I can get off a Rock Slide, I would like to get off a Rock Slide. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe they might attack the extra. I don't know. No, they gotta go for, for, for facade here. They gotta know that we're protecting here too. It's pretty simple. They got they're gonna go for eruption and facade. They're gonna double right down into this T-Tar. There's the eruption. T-Tar might be able to soak this. It's got it's got the assault vest. It does actually really well. Now is facade gonna clean this one up. Yep. Bye bye T-Tar. T-Tar takes a huge chunk of damage. Now, Trick Room's gone. Um, problem is, EQ's not KOing the Ursaluna. That's the problem. I don't even think it's KOing the Torkoal. Still gonna give it a shot here. No doubt in my mind. Gotta go for EQ. Gotta go. I wish I had still had Terra. Terra Ground would be huge here. It would be huge, but yeah, we just... We just, we just let our Corviknight die out here early. Honestly, they just play good. Like, the Trick Room. Trick Room's kind of tough to play up against sometimes, especially with, like, different teams. But EQ's going to launch. How much damage are we doing? Not even close. And it's going to be game set match. Headlong Rush going to fly here. We're going to end up taking a 1-2 losing record for today's video. Not too bad. I feel like we played pretty well, especially match number 1. And in match number 2, match number 3, again, we played a little, little worse than we did in the first two. But we'll take this loss on the chin. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, rocking out with T-Tar Extra yet again in Ranked Regulation Age. Absolutely love this combo. We ended up going 1-2 and two for today's video. First match was perfect. We dominated. Second match, we played really well. Just Spore got the best of us, if I'm being honest here. Then third and final match, again, didn't play my best. Probably should have Thrasilized Corviknight early on in the into that match. Into that Water Terror type, because Flare Blitz and Ice Beam took it out. And if we would Thrasilize at that time... Corviknight probably would have soaked up a shot, allowed us to waste out another turn of Trick Room, and maybe end up winning this game. Would have definitely been close if I would have made that play, but either way, we end up losing that battle, and we go 1-2 and two for today's video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me, and if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.